Hey YouTube, I hope you all are having an amazing day. Today I have finally back with uploading a new video. Today I'm going to be opening up seven of the Silver Temptus set with the pre-releases out right now. The new set coming out in about a week or so. And this I saw at my local Target. It is a reprint C2210 right there. These used to be known as, I think, like D12s. And I bought one to see if it was Cosmic Eclipse still. There's the coin. Raikou. Dragon Bolt. Card. But the packs, no cosmic. But we do have fusion and evolving. Evolving. Evolving skies. That half booster box video is looking pretty disappointing now after I opened that. The fact that I spent cheap pr cheap pricing on that. It's code. Let's do one, two, three, four. In the back. Let's do that. Grass energy. Lapis. Berserker. Energy. Jinx. Gas helmet. Drill burr. Bunnelby. Mudkip. Reverse. Uncommon dark right. And a palestine. Alright. So now they got to pack one. So that was a white bordered. But it's fine. Because if we only get one hit out of per 10, we'll get a one on this. Try to get this to focus a little better. There we go. Let's try. See if we can pull something good out of this. So far, I have had good luck with Silver Temptus. I have pulled the Skunk Tank V alternative art. Let's cook the evolving guys. If you guys do not know what that looks like, I am sorry, but it is a magnificent artwork. You can just Google it, and you probably find one for the Japanese set because that was the first set that had the card because no English pricing is obviously available yet for the new set since it won't be out for about another week or so. We'll be back, a Bordeaux Reverse, and an Altarian on all. All right. Well, that's that's the Evolving Skies reprint for you. There's the new code cards that they make for them. But this is not what we're here for. This is just a little extra product. Here is the main opening. We got seven. Packs of Silver Temptus, we'll just put those back there. I got one Lugia art, one Vulpix art, and four Reggie Lecky artworks. These are just some pre release packs that my local card store had. I got I can open this. There we go. As you all know, I do love these sets for one train for one reason, the trainer galleries. I always go to complete the whole trainer gallery set. And this set is no different. I've already gotten a good amount. I got like five of the 30 cards. So making at least a little bit of progress. Oh. Well, there's a way to skip it. But hey, that's a rock rift character rare. And ooh, I kept all. This one's actually good. I think its ability is pretty good. Once you turn me search your deck for two energy cards. I think that's pretty good actually for cards. I'm going this. But here's the main card we got. A nice rock rift. Character rare with just one move, the move crunch. What? This was in VMAX Climax, so this just shows how long it's taking to get some artwork out for this set. There's a nice rock of though. I'll put that back there. Let me get some sleeves out and sleeve that Archaeops. Just get a stack right there. There's a nice Archaeops. Nice. We always leave the halls when the set first came up, comes out because you never know if, people will be, if collectors and, pl and players will be looking for these cards. I certainly might not look for the hollows, but value-wise, till I get more product, they might be very sought after. And also, with um, the new Japanese set called V-Star Premium or something? V-Star Universe. Um, releasing the Charizard V-Star artwork um, from the um, Ultra Premium will be in that set as a Japanese new art. Oh, I love that right you. I love that on the Pikachu artwork in this set. They're my favorites. We got a Relicanth. Halucha. Totemaru. Reverse Serena. Full art trainer. This is pre pre sales like 140 bucks. And. Ooh, Del Fox non hollow. Hey, perfect. There's for starter. Just locking into games. Also, guys, I will try to be uploading more now. You, If my name is different, it's because it is. Because. Poke Collector wasn't working it for me. I feel like Boba Lover is just like my normal YouTube tagline in the persona I'd want to go by. Because I'm not going to just be doing Pokemon openings, I will be doing also Yu Gi Oh! openings. 
I hope to get the new set, Marvelous Mavens. And hey, pull that Pharaoh's Rare Dark Magician Girl would be insane. Haven't pulled a Pharaoh Rare at all. And with the new sets coming out, it's hard to like keep track of uploading certain kinds of content. Got ball toy. Ooh, the dinner reverse and a talon flame non hollow. Boost these these boosters. We're halfway through. We got two more packs left after this. Little cold packs, couple colds, but that first that first pack did it. That first pack. Not a bad start. Don't know why I'm pulling them out like this because I don't want to accidentally see the other cards. And I just like push them out of the pack like that. I don't know if I'll be getting a booster box to crack on this on video. I probably might. I might not just because they might be expensive. But I do hope to open like more of this set on video because this set's pretty good. Especially the alternate arts in this set are pretty nice. Lost Origins I didn't do any videos on because... I didn't have any luck with the pulls. Pull rates on them were pretty bad. Oh! Hey, there's the star of the show for the set. One of them, the Alolan Vulpix with the playability of this in the V-Star. There's a lot of people saying the Reggie Draco is going good with the Arceus V-Star deck. I haven't seen personally how good it is, but I think it's going to be pretty good. So there's a nice Alolan Vulpix V. So that's not bad. We've gotten two hits so far out of four packs. Let's see if we can get a couple. Let's see if we can get like maybe one or two more. If we can get a double banger, a full art in the character rare spot by any chance. It'd be nice. I'd love to pull the Rayquaza VMAX character rare. That's by far the best one ever made. And it'd be nice to have it. I have the Japanese version of it. I'd love to have an English version of it too. Smiggle. As for also, uh, Kadabra's back in the set, I believe. Along with Alakazam as the radiant form. Metatite. A Growlithe Reverse, and a Hisuian Lilligan. That's a nice art. Why didn't they make that a hollow? That's a nice background. They should have made that hollow. It would been a lot better. But, we got the last pack, the Lugia artwork. Let's see if we can get a good pull. So if you guys do enjoy these videos, don't forget, don't forget to leave a, just a like and a comment if you have any recommendations of something that you'd like to see in the video. Something to show off, maybe. If you want to show off like a little bit of the collection. Maybe just some like single cards. Uh, Maybe like a video game, like a Pokemon video game. I always be wanting to show some stuff off. It'll always be nice. Nice and something new to post about. Got Zubat, El Elgum. He hasn't been in here for a while. Got Fungus, Sandy Gust, Reverse Murkrow, and a God of War non hollow. So nothing out of those last two packs, but that's completely fine. Let's go over the quick hits we got. Nice little Vulpix V, the Archaeops Hollow. And a rock rough character. Rare. But yeah, guys, that's all I got for you today. Hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.